Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, in this video, we are gonna be discussing about VS Code, and I'll be taking you through how to install this VS Code on your system. So, I am already on this page where we can download this code.vsstudio.com. I'll mention this link in the description so you can kindly click on and head over to this page. So, let's talk about VS Code first. So, if I type in Google VS Code Wiki. So it will take me to this link on Wikipedia. You can learn about the VS Code there. So Visual Studio Code is an open source code editor developed by Microsoft for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. It supports all the platforms. It includes the support for the debugging, embedded Git controls. Uh, that basically means your, from my last video, you can see the Git. Syntax highlighting is also there. Intelligent code completion is, is one of the best features which I loved. And when I met this code editor for the first time, I fell in love with this thing. It also comes with the snippets as well as code refactoring. It is also customizable so that you can customize, change its theme and customize it accordingly. Fonts, font sizes, keyboard shortcuts, everything is it's free and open source. VS Code is based on Electron Engine. Electron is a framework by Node.js used to deploy Node.js applications for the desktop running Blink layout engine. So Electron framework, you can download this for Mac. Currently I'm on Mac, so it is showing for the download for Mac, but you can download for Windows on Windows. And the installation process is pretty much same. So I have already downloaded this VS Code in my desktop. And if I head over to my Finder window, to the desktop, I have already this here. If I click it with WinRAR, I just get this icon. So for installation Mac, you can simply drag and drop to the applications folder but on windows the pretty much installation process is the same as you do for the softwares so i have already extracted that thing i'll close my winjip and then i'll go to my launcher pad where i get my vs code here so if i run this and i get this this must be not be default the default theme of the vs code is this thing because i previously had installed so it is getting the dependencies so I'm taking through the walkthrough which the theme which I'm currently using on here is if I go to command palette or you can go here also on the plugins. So the plugins which I use, this is the beautify, this formats, JavaScript and JS, uh, JSON, CSS, SAS and, and HTML and VS code. It formats them according to the syntax. Then the best part of this VS code is uh, quite amazing to run the Dart application which supports Flutter SDK uh, which is latest technology by Google to create hybrid applications so I have also installed this plugin you can simply write your plugin name and you can get here so I will be discussing about few of them which you should need so to run Python uh, to run Python I have already installed this plugin Python this one this package developed by Microsoft itself and currently you can see you can see 28 million downloads and it's rated the best one then the prettier code formatter is also available so you can see the download 6 million downloads over here and then you can go for the material theme and to apply any material theme you just have to go here go to command palette and here you will get these icons so to install any package i'll give you a demo simply you can go to here or let's install one package which i know i haven't installed that package so far so it's angular you will just simply write this name and it will start searching the package which are available available in the marketplace as well as you have other way of installing that thing so you can directly go to vs code you can go for this extensions uh, go to extension marketplace for VS Code. So you can simply find those here also. You can install it offline also. But in this video, we are not going to be discussing that. To enable material icon, I have this package installed with me is material icon theme. And this is amazing. This comes with our icon listed. If I want to open a folder, let's say I have just created a Google map, which is basically a Flutter application, which I am working on. So I open this and so currently that supports the art language also. I have already installed the plugin, but the best part of this thing is it comes with the terminals. If you don't want to open the terminal separately because it may access a lot of memory, so you can run your commands here. So to open the terminal, it's just simply you have to use control and backticks. So if I want to check the version of this, so I can simply write code dash dash version and it will give me the VS Code version 1.3, which is the latest in the marks, the latest one 1.30 version. 
if I want to run this application, this Flutter application, so I can write open simulator here, open dash A, and I can write simulator, and it will run my iPhone simulator here. And if I want to run this application, for that earlier to run any Flutter application or write any codes, people has to go for the Android Studio. But uh, this VS Code quite flexible and it came with this thing where you can directly command and run your applications, you can build your applications. So if I write Flutter run and if I enter this thing, it will start this application on my iPhone XR and it is amazing. So currently starting VS Code build. And the last part is it is very fast and uh, here my application ready to open. And this is a sample application which I developed for the maps and this uses leaflet maps. So let's quit this application here. I can simply write quit and application has been finished working. So I will quit this simulator. I will quit the simulator. Command Q is the shortcut for that. On Windows, it might not work because to run any iOS application, you need Apple kernel. So I write clear it out and press command open. It will take me to this folder where I have all my projects. And then if I go to any of my project, like if I want to go for a view project, I can open this view shop. The extension for view plugin I'm using is Uter, which has 8 million downloads here and rated 5 out 5 stars and view 2 snippets. So if I go and open this file, app.view shows everything one place in a correct order. If I try to write something like if I want to add one function to this, I can simply write add a function to this file that is say hello function. If I open this thing out and currently it's not formatted. And I write something like let something equals to something string. Something string. Hello friends. And if I just and want to console that thing out, I'll simply say something and press comma here and say I'll pass one more string. Mandy. If I press Ctrl S, you can notice the change that it has all already formatted my code and put also semicolon at the end of this line. So it is very amazing to work with these type of editors. And one more example I would like to show is if I go to my app projects and if I go for my HTML page, let's open this project in my VS Code and I create a file sample.html best part of this VS code is comes with pre-installed emit so if I simply write exclamation mark and press tab it will write every whatever I need as a HTML file to run so I can simply write title my sample file and if I write something here h1 hello world and if I press save it has already formatted my code According. And then one more extension which I would like to discuss is live server that is here. Currently it has around 2 million downloads so it is quite popular in community among the developers. So best part of this thing is if I open this with live server and it will spin up the server here we have our HTML file running. So if I just make any change here let's say I am from codebook inc and if I press save command s here we have our code on the screen so this is the way where you can see the change as soon as we save the file let's show about some more features like it is if I want to give an unordered list let's say ul I want to put li's in here and if I want to put three li's there I can simply write li into 4 and if I press tab it will be giving me 4 li's there and I write x I press tab again milk I press tab again it will take me to the next line and if I write bread 
if I take again to the other line and if I write Mac OS then if I save changes directly noticed on the screen in the HTML file like if I were a let's say OL list order list in which I want to have allies and then for each ally I want to have a heading as well as paragraph so for that you can simply write h2 plus oh sorry I forgot to I want to have three allies and for each ally I want to have a heading and a paragraph and I press tab that will give me that so this one is my code book and I press tab again it will take me to left next time and the best part is lorem ipsum text also comes with so if I want to write lorem 30 it will give me lorem ipsum text for the 30 words and next part is if I press tab again it will take me to the next line something is cooking cooking I press tab again it will take me to the next line and it is I want to write I want to have a 10 word space so I can simply write lorem 10 and I press tab it will give me 10 10 line string I press tab again it will take me to the next line so on now the best part of the VS code is it also defines classes with its emit option so if I now have a heading with a class of margin bottom 3 so I can simply write h4 dot mb5 and simply press tab it will give me the h3 with a margin bottom class of 5 and hello world and you can note in the change in the screen next to this then I want to have a paragraph with some id simply I will write p hash because hash is the id selector and as well as dot is a class selector so I want to have a paragraph id of my para and simply press tab hello world if I save you can directly see that it changes in my live server which has been running on this port so next another best part of this thing is if I want to write some CSS codes and attached to this file I can simply write link and press tab it will give me the pre-installed line for the CSS ready to use so I want to mention assets it also comes it also shows a pop-up where the file is located in the current directory so I want to go to assets then I want to go to e CSS folder then I want to attach this CSS style file style.css and it has already linked that thing if I say save we can directly see our content is changing now I want to go to CSS file and currently it's flooded with some codes which I have been working on so if I want to write some CSS I want to let's want to give some background we have this RBGA value it also pops up small color window where we can choose our collect manual colors manually by dragging simply this object but it is for RBGB values I want to convert into hash we can directly click on this it will convert it into hash if I want to HSL so I can directly click here again it will convert it into HSL so let's change it back to that thing and if I save it this saves this file then let's say I have given a class of my para my para and if I stress ugly code here let's say background it, it pops all the options which are matched to this pack so I want to give the background color of thing like this which I have been using in my previous project and if I press save so you cannot see any change here so why is that because it was given with the ID but I am using class selector so that's why let's convert that thing and if I save now you can see directly the background of this paragraph has converted into this color so I want to give this font color of let's say hash FFF that's a short code for white color if I press that we can directly save the changes I want to give the pad it will give me the padding so this is a quite good for the uh, if you are newbie in the developer and 
we can directly explore your commands whatever if I do this what we are gonna see on the front end so I want to give the padding of 30 pixels from all side so here we have a hello world with a padding of 30 pixels from this side top and bottom or increase the fonts so I'll simply write font and here we have all the options which are related to the fonts so I want to font I want to increase the size of this font let's say 30 pixels if I save there we have our hello world increased so that's amazing thing about VS code take one more example that is how to run the Python files so if I open my like another project that is basically it contains the workspace of Python so I get to divide that projects and if I go to this thing where we have our Python essentials training which I was my previous video but we have two files and this course is about to complete in a day or two days so I will open this project and it also gives you backwards installed Python so for that it requires some interpreter so for that you can go for command palette and settings you can customize it over here because it also comes with a graphic window formatting everything stuff you can you can check those out here but I like doing it by JSON and if I click here it will take me to this window and here we have all the settings of the VS code which we want to modify we can directly say it here for example by default it comes with a font size of 12 so if you want to manipulate this value you can directly copy this here and paste it over here with the comma and let's say I want to increase because it is showing squiggly lines because I have already done that thing you okay, see so let's make it 17 and I save it you can see then file saving you can notice the change on my editor so next thing is if I want to increase the view size we can simply press command plus on Mac and control on window and if I want to decrease this thing we can simply write command minus and control minus on windows then best of the best if I want to see the images it also opens the images so if I want to open this this gives me a logo which I have been using in my project and let, let's open one more shop this opens in that image too and it also gives the zooming option so this is the best all about this thing then next thing is uh, if I create a JavaScript file let's say main.js and if I open this file I write some code here const my app equal to hello world and if I hit save it all automatically formats that for me if I write function say hello returns a value true and if I save this thing this format this code is formatted accordingly and if I write for more function function selector and let's say document dot and here we can see all the functions which are related to this document object which comes with default with the HTML files so document dot query selector query selector means that we can select any anything by its if I want to select something by its ID we can directly simply say with this thing and F it will select that thing from the HTML on which it is running so it automatically formatted like my code and that's amazing part of the VS code if I go and head over and open one more folder that is for Python folder and if I go to my dev project Python essential training and I want to open this thing so this is the my Python video 
So if I want to run this file, it automatically takes me to that directory in the terminal. So if I want to run this file, python strings.py, if I press enter, everything, whatever in the score was there, it is executed here. So that is amazing things about OES code. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and please give a thumbs up to our video and subscribe to my channel if you like the content.